Hello everybody, Patrick here, and today we are going to continue to fill out your IRL D&D character sheet by figuring out what class you would be in Dungeons & Dragons. Now this is a sequel to a previous video I did where I talked about what your stats would be if you were a Dungeons & Dragons character. Link for that video will be down in the description below, in case you have not seen it yet. But today we are going to be continuing that concept by figuring out what class you would be in Dungeons & Dragons. And this will be based off of skills that you have accrued in real life. Now keep in mind guys, this is just my opinion, and this is just for fun. This isn't actually going to reflect anything on you as a person. Again, this is just a fun little thing of, if I were a D&D &D character, what would my whole stat block and character sheet look like if it was fully filled out? And we will be going in alphabetical order, so we will start off with Barbarian. Now, Barbarians are very strength-focused. Strength is like their number one thing, and they're pretty much just meatheads, you know, who all they focus on is the acquisition of physical power. And so I figured if you were any kind of strength athlete, you would fit perfectly in the Barbarian class. Now, strength athlete includes anything like powerlifting, bodybuilding, strongman competitions, things like that. Now, next up, we have Bard. Now, for Bard, I put any sort of performer, such as things like singer, dancer, comedian, musician, basically anything where you get up on stage to perform something. Because Bards are basically just magical entertainers. Up next, we have Cleric. Now, Clerics are typically the de facto party healers. And as such, I feel that pretty much anybody with a medical background would fit really well into the cleric class. EMTs, doctors, paramedics, and nurses, pretty much anyone with any sort of medical degree. Moving on, we have druids. Now, druids are kind of like the hippie class. They live in the woods. They're one with nature. And as such, they have a huge connection with plants and animals. And that's why I feel that anybody who is well-educated on the subjects of plants or animals, or both, would fit really well into the druid class. So like a herbologist, a professional gardener, or on the animal side, a veterinarian, zookeeper, basically anything where your job involves either plants or animals, I feel like a druid suits them quite well. Up next we have fighter. Now, fighters are kind of like barbarians in that strength is definitely a prime factor. However, barbarians are like pure strength, whereas fighters are more people who are specifically trained to deal with physical conflicts. And that is why I feel that pretty much anybody who plays a contact sport or is in the military would fit really well into the fighter category. Contact sports like football and rugby because you are trained to deal with physical conflicts. Same thing with the military, obviously on a much greater scale, but again, you are trained physically to deal with conflicts. Bouncers would also fit well into this category, as well as police officers. Up next we have Monk, and similar to Bard, this one is really, really easy to figure out. It's just anybody with a martial arts background. If you have a background in any martial art, then you would fit into the monk class. Up next we have paladins. Now paladins are a bit different because they're basically like if you took fighters and clerics and meshed them together. So basically paladins are anybody who is trained to both fight something and heal someone. So basically like a firefighter or a combat field medic, something like that. Up next we have ranger. Now again this one is was pretty simple to think about anybody with hunting or survivalist training. Things like a boy scout, if you were taught any sort of hunting or tracking skills, then you would fit really well into the ranger class. Next we have rogue. Now rogues are very sneaky and devious. They are known primarily for lying, lockpicking, and stealth. And so there are two backgrounds that could fit you into the rogue class. One would obviously be if you had any sort of criminal history. The other would be in information gathering, such as a spy. Because those two categories of people largely have experience in the primary traits that the rogue is known for. Up next we have sorcerer. Now sorcerers are kind of tricky because they are just normal people that are born with the gift of magical talent and then cultivate it to become more powerful. 
And that is why I believe that if you are a social media influencer, you'd be a sorcerer. Because you took your natural looks and charisma and you cultivated them into a following. Next, we have Warlock. Now, Warlocks are normal people who sell their soul to a patron of power in exchange for a small percentage of that patron's power. And that is why I believe that if you are in any sort of middle management, you would be a warlock because you're higher up than the demon grunts below you, but you have an overbearing patron who is constantly breathing down your neck asking for results. Not to mention you sold your freedom to get that power. Next we have wizard. Now wizards are again, just normal people who went to school and studied to become magical. And so that is why I think that if you have any sort of college degree, you're a wizard because you went to school, you studied and you cultivated your intelligence just like a wizard would. And I know I said we would be going in alphabetical order, but I forgot one and that's artificer. Now, artificers are basically like the magical technicians of the world of D&D. And that is why I believe that if you have any sort of mechanical training, you'd be an artificer. Things like a car mechanic, a roboticist, or an engineer would all fall into the artificer class. Well, there you go, guys. That's been my thoughts on what D&D class you'd be, depending on your background. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments. I'm Patrick, and I'll see you next time.